In this video, we're going to discuss about the truth table technique or TTT. So again, yung truth table technique, ginagamit natin siya para ma-determine yung kind ng given proposition or propositional form kung ito ba ay tautology, absurdity, or contingency. Okay? So, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano natin ginagamit yung TTT or truth table technique. So, let's have number one. We have P implies Q, quantity implies the quantity not P or Q. So, una, dapat bilangin muna natin kung ilan yung given na propositions dito. So, meron tayong P and Q. Okay? Usually, ang ginagawa lang natin dito, binibilang natin kung ilan yung letters para ma-determine kung ilan yung propositions na given. So, meron tayong dalawang propositions and then gagamitin natin yung formula na 2 raised to N para ma-determine kung ilan yung number of rows where n yung number of propositions o yung number of letters dito. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang letters, P and Q. So, we have 2 raised to 2, that is 4. So, ibig sabihin, apat na rows ang gagamitin natin. So, let's start with P. That will be 1, 1, 0, 0. Apat. And then Q, mag alternate na siya. 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay? Then, isa-isa natin from left side to right side, pero dapat uunayin natin yung mga nasa loob ng grouping symbol. So, eto muna, P implies Q. Okay? So, 1 implies 1, that is 1. 1 implies 0, 0. 0 implies 1, 1. 0 implies 0, 1. So, paano ko nakuha yung mga truth values na to? So, yan ay na-discuss ko na doon sa lesson natin ng logical operators. So, pinakita ko yung mga truth values sa bawat logical operator. So, dapat kabisado natin yon, Okay? So, okay na tayo sa P implies Q. So, dito naman, unahin natin yung loob muna, not P. Wala pa tayong not P dito. So, not P. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, not 1, that is 0. Not 1, that is 0. Magiging 1, magiging 1. Okay? So, pinakita ko natin yung truth table ng negation. So, dapat alam na natin yan. Then, meron na tayong not P. So, let's have not P or Q. Not P or Q. Okay? So, not P or Q. So, 0 or 1, that is 1. So, di ba nga yung disjunction, palaging 1 siya, basta mag 1 lang yung isa sa kanila. Okay? Otherwise, 0. 0 or 0, o pareho silang 0, that will be 0. Walang nag 1 sa kanila. 1 or 1, that is 1. 1 or 0, that is 1. Okay? So, next naman, meron na tayong P implies Q. Meron na tayong not P or Q. Then, next, ilat natin to na triangle. etong P implies Q ay triangle. So, pakita natin. Let's say, triangle, yan ay logically equivalent to P implies Q. Tapos, let's say, square, logically equivalent to not P or Q. So, para sa yan? O, para dito. Kasi kung halimbawa, hindi natin ito masulat lahat dito. So, ang gagawin ko na lang, triangle, which is yung P implies Q, implies square. Ayan. Not P or Q. O, ba So, understood na natin yan. Ito yung triangle, ito yung square. Okay? So, dapat ipapakita nyo dito, ha. Yung nakalet. Triangle, yun yung P implies Q, square, logically equivalent to not P or Q. Okay? Then, ito yun. P implies Q implies not P or Q. So, 1 implies 1, that is 1. 0 implies 0, that is 1. 1 implies 1, 1. 1 implies 1, 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, anong kind siya? So, kung puro 1 siya, ibig sabihin, yung given propositional form ay tautology. To be specific, since yung uh, primary operator niya or main operator ay implication, so, this is tautological implication. So, ang kain niya ay tautological implication. Now, let's have number 2. P and Q implies R quantity if and only if the quantity P implies the quantity Q implies R. So, ilan yung propositions natin dito? Tatlo. So, we have P, Q, and R. So, 2 raised to 3, that will be 8. Okay? So, walo siya. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, walo. 
The next for Q, we have 1100-1100. So, nakikita nyo yung pattern, no? Then, we have 10101-010. Okay? So, next. So, simulan muna natin dito sa left side, sa first proposition, and then sa pinakaloob muna ng grouping symbol, yung P and Q. Okay? So, P and Q. So, 1 and 1, that is 1. 1 and 1. 1 and 0, that will be 0. So, kung maaalala nyo, di ba kapag conjunction, isa lang mag 0 dyan, automatic 0 na. Dapat 1 pareho. Okay? So, eto, 0 na yan. 0 na, 0, 0, 0. So, next, okay na yung PNQ. So, let's have PNQ quantity implies R. So, PNQ implies R. So, ito, PNQ implies ito. Okay? So, 1 implies 1. Then, 1 implies 0. So, di ba pag implication, magsi 0 lang siya kapag 1 implies 0. So, 0, tapos ito, 1, kasi 0 implies 1. 0 implies 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So, next, okay na yung ditong part. So, dito naman sa pangalawa. So, simulan natin sa Q implies R. So, Q implies R. So, Q implies R. So, ito muna, Q implies R. So, 1 implies 1. It is 1. 1 implies 0. So, 0 yan. Then, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay? So, next. Okay na yung Q implies R. Dito naman tayo sa P implies quantity Q implies R. So, P implies quantity Q implies R. So, that will be, oh, eto yan. Yung P implies ito. Okay? So, 1 implies 1. That is 1. 1 implies 0, that is 0. Then, 1 implies 1, 1, 1 implies 1. 0 implies 1, 0 implies 0, 0 implies 1, 0 implies 1. Okay? So, napakadali lang yan, no? So, okay na yung sa second proposition, okay na sa first. So, mag-let tayo kasi mahirap isulat lahat yan dito, yung buong propositional form. So, mag-let tayo ng triangle para sa first proposition, P and Q, quantity implies R. Tapos, square naman para sa second proposition, P implies, quantity Q implies R. Okay, so para maging triangle implies, uh, if and only if, square. So, ito yung triangle, ito yung square. Okay, para masulat natin siya. Okay, so next, wag lang yung circle no, para hindi tayo malito kasi zero na to, circle. Okay, so again, di ba pag by conditional, dapat magkamuka para maging one. So, magkamuka. Magkamuka. So, puro magkakamuka yan. Kaya puro siya 1. Okay? So, since puro 1 siya, always true. And then, yung primary operator ay biconditional. So, therefore, anong kind to? So, ang kind niya, that will be uh, tautological tautological So, mali. We have tautological equivalence okay so let's have number 3 so meron tayong dalawang propositions P and Q so 2 raised to 2 that is 4 so 4 rows siya so P1100 Q1010 okay then we have P and Q so, P and Q. So, ito lang yung 1. Tapos, 0, 0, 0. Then, so, dito naman, meron na tayong P and Q. Let's have not P and Q. So, not quantity P and Q. So, in-negate lang natin to Magiging 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay? Then, let's have P and Q and not P and Q. So, P and Q and not P and Q. Okay, so kasha naman siya. Okay, so end neto. P and Q and not P and Q. So 1 and 0, 0 siya. 0, 0, 0. So as you can see, puro 0 siya. Therefore, anong kind to? So this is absurdity. So last number, let's have P implies Q. Quantity and R. So, meron tayong 3 propositions. So, 2 raised to 3, that will be 8. So, we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then, Q, 
1100110 then we have r10101010 okay so let's start with p implies q so 1 implies 1 1 implies 1 1 implies 0 1 implies 0 0 implies 1 0 implies 1 I 0 implies 0 0 implies 0 so next let's have p implies q quantity and r so we have 1 and 1 0 and 1 0 1 and 0 0 and 0 1 and 1 0 and 1 1 and 1 0 and 1 Okay, so since meron siyang 1, meron siyang 0, so anong kind siya? So this is contingency. Kasi hindi siya tautology, hindi siya absurdity. Okay?